Still wants to be the secretary. If you could find somebody else to be the secretary. Oh, I will tell you, I will tell you, it's an easy job because I haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> and the pay is great, right? <laughs> it's commensurate with the amount of work I do. I'm happy that if we can find somebody else. I'll, uh, I'll amend your motion and ask. Uh, Dave, the secretary. I will respect the request. Oh, you mean there was something involved? When I was secretary, involved? there was work to do. <laughs> Cheryl, you good? Sure. Okay. Oh, good. Thank you. Then I'll, I'll, I'll amend the motion and ask and, and oh, add Cheryl's name as the secretary. <laughs> good. I'll second that if it was okay. Great. Any other discussion? Any other nominations? All, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> All right. Next up is approval of the minutes. They look good to me when I read them. If that's good enough for a motion. I'll second that motion. Okay. Any further discussion? All, right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. Communications. I don't have anything. I do have the, I guess, the tax customs report. And this. Well, we're reviewing the calculations. Since we're at 55 percent last year, we're at 55 percent this year of collections of the levy. So we'll see that in the financial report too. So that's all, I have. all right. Public comment. <coughs> yes. Right. <coughs> Sent an email to Bob Barry asking if he was going to resign from his position as a fire chief now that he's been duly elected to the Board of Finance. So I'd like to know if he's going to step down from his position. And I have asked for an opinion from the town attorney. OK. And I'm awaiting that. Okay. I'm not ignoring you. I'm awaiting okay. it. Thank you. Departments are notified that they're spending down their uh, remaining budgets. How they're notified? That they it, get do their you reports. let them know? Yeah, every yeah. month they get a report. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they know if they're slipping a little bit. Thank you. You're welcome.
same lines or whatever those kind of normal because you want know, different skills, <coughs> but there's nothing different mm -hmm. than, than we've seen the last several years with health insurance. One quarter. One quarter payment, yeah. <laughs> Which is not very much. No, two quarters are almost over. But it does help. Yeah. 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 Georgia, on the field maintenance for park and rec, I yep. see uh, very little uh, balance remaining, but there's $21,000 encumbered. Is that mm -hmm. some type of a contract that you've got? Right. So for the yeah. spring, so spring maintenance is already yes, encumbered? Actually, at the very beginning of the year, 
what do you mean by that? Oh, so the, the, oh, I was thinking the People button. are buying them. Is it a January? In June. Oh, in June. In okay. June, yeah. I was thinking yeah. it was a January to December. Okay. So the June, it belongs to the previous <clears throat> fiscal year. I got to get used to this mid year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> our accounting is typically slightly off. Yeah, it's what yeah. it goes so off. The because it goes, they buy in June. They're really valid for July first. Right. Right, but so it balances out because yeah, each year, each this year. fiscal year they're going to buy in in June and it's going to be long for the fiscal year. So. Right, just from the kind yeah. of standpoint, it's yeah, technically be. yeah we're off, but from a budget standpoint, it works. Yeah. <coughs> Any other? Questions or we can we have we can answer all the questions from us. Uh, no. See, the first one was about the um, HK Recreational Authority, and um, every year they send in their request. I think I don't know who asked that question, but every year they request. Um, the, the same amount. The bulk of it is at the very beginning of the fiscal year, and then it's installments, uh, either 9000 or 8000 um, It's similar, I want to say similar to the school, but not really. Mm -hmm. Theirs is a little bit different. Um, yeah, I think we should take a look at that. So and that's what I was going to suggest. If the board wants to look at it. Of it yeah. on day one, and then yeah. there's three $9,000 payments. So it's not normal. Normally it's quarterly or something. Mm -hmm. So we, we should be leaving the money in our bank unless so there's a specific mm -hmm. reason mm -hmm. why. But quarterly is more the norm for those type of agencies. The July one, they would get a quarter. Mm -hmm. Most of the agencies, is, is they're either mm -hmm. quarterly or half. Um, for example, their their first payment is $81,321. So the bulk of it is coming out of in July, and then the rest of it is installments of 9,000. Uh, October, January, and March. Did, yeah, do they need the money up front for some reason? Do you know, or, I, or I can only assume that they need it because I went way back, <coughs> and that's the schedule that they had from like 10 years ago. Yeah. And it continues every year. That's the way it continues. But I don't know. They probably do need the money. Yeah, I mean, if their cash flow for some reason requires it, say they are cooperating. What well, we, we, we can ask the question, but yeah. all parks and rec collect a ton of money in May and June for yeah. all yeah. summer so programs. So, so they don't need they don't need cash. Yeah. At July one, right. I mean, something. But just something to understand. That's yeah. the question. I think mm -hmm. of why. Why we would do it off a normal quarterly basis. Let's do it. So, do you want me to ask or the board uh, to send a letter to them? Mm -hmm. How do you want it uh, resolved? Uh, we don't necessarily talk to them during the budget time. We can make the request through that process. Yeah. Through the budget time? Okay. I need to understand. Okay, that's good. And that would be the same for all organizations if we're doing more than quarterly. If there's a need, that's a different story. I'm not sure if I just understand why we're. Maybe give them a heads up so that they are planning ahead how to put their budget together. Hopefully, they have it in their mind. Yeah, I'm planning to send a letter to the board and ask them to Is that not fixed by their uh, charter or some sort of? I don't know. Honestly, we Just never asked. We it never asked before. Yeah. So this no, is the first time. time. Killingworth has actually asked. lessened their request a couple of years ago, didn't they? Remember that? No, they they give us. Oh, as far as their request, yeah. Yes, it's less, but they are going by capita. It's not. Yeah, they, they uh, do it. You know, by so the share. So it's the same as their request, but there's nothing that says we have to give them. Right. Right. But their schedule is the same as ours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Well, if it's that same 5842 breakdown that we have for the school budget, yeah. they're going to get paid the same way that way. That's, yeah, I just don't, that's what it is. Yeah, that's what it is. They do it on the street. So on the number two question, which was the, if we received the um, CMGF, we, we did get. Uh, third question was, the, next, the question arose regarding the town council line and, and questions were asked why so much has been spent that far. Uh, the explanation for that is we had a foreclosure property on Boulder Dell Road and the property was going to auction. So the first selectman decided to bid on that um, property. So the town went acquire the property, and, and of course there were uh, appraisal fees and um, attorney's fees. So that's kind of the bulk of it. Uh, then we had uh, $33,432 um, expenditure uh, from another attorney regarding the jail grant. So that's basically the bulk of it. The rest of it are very small amounts. So the town was bidding on a parcel of land for, where is it? That it was Boulder going to foreclosure. Oh, yeah, but where, where was it? Oh, uh, Boulder Dell. Yeah. Dell. Yeah. 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 And, and the purchase was road. made? The well, town we, the town got the property mm -hmm. for the amount of paying the, the attorney fees. Which amount to what total? Sorry. Uh, one was five thousand seventy-eight, and the other one thirty-seven sixty-three point nine eight. Three thousand seven hundred sixty-three dollars and ninety-eight cents, and the other one was five thousand seventy-eight dollars and forty-one cents. And the purpose for this property now? That I don't know. The fourth um, question was regarding the um, activities uh, Adam Park and Rec Commission, and specifically, I think it was um, about the uh, family night. Was from the, yeah, the um, time yeah. Was family night. Yeah, the, the the difference between last year and this year is last year they didn't have the uh, bounce. Bounce the house. But this year they, they did. They did. They Last did. year they did. They had them two years in a row. No, I think it was the year before. They had them they, this, this, the one we just had. Right. They had them the prior. Because I remember somebody got hurt. There, there was no expenditure for the, I still remember the, the prior. Well, I think it was the year before. Mm -hmm. They had, last year they had the. Um, and then did we decide? The orchestra, you know, the, the band. The band, sorry. It was the same band. Excuse me. They would have paid a lot more for that. Was the they had so <laughs> <laughs> But I thought the private duty went over. I thought it seemed like it was charged that it was What private duty? The, you mean the police, yeah, police officer? Yeah, I remember. I thought that they said that there was private, Barbara had said that there was private duty that was charged. Mm -hmm. Well, there was, but I. But that's, that's not what made that's, it. No, no, okay. that's not what made it. Go. Okay. There were four uh, clowns. Can we have another clown? Three turtles. Yeah, there's some clowns. And a partridge. And rental lights. I think those the lights this year were a little okay. bit more elaborate. So. Um, an additional power course they needed for the life. So that kind of got it. So maybe they'll ask for the 7,500 or so next time. <coughs> yeah. Five. I mean, it sounds like they need more than five. I guess that's up to them. So the number five, I think. Cheryl, you had asked about the um, the state troopers. Yeah. What we pay. Just what comes out of that line. 
Uh, okay, we pay for school activities like uh, basketball no, and all was, that. What you mean? I thought she had specifically said that the police for that fun night was charged to the park and rec line. Oh, and you, so you're still on, on, on number No, that's why four. I think that well, was... Well, yes, there, okay. was, there was. There was charged, but they're going to give us the money back to go back into the police line. Because the town is not going to pay for it. It's going to come out of their budget. It came out of their budget. Because we get reimbursed. And no, 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 I get that. I just okay. thought that it was specifically charged to park and rec versus to... No. It, it always gets charged to the town. The, the state the, sends the bill No, no, I get town. that part. Right. right. And that's... I specifically remember saying, I think it's been charged to the wrong line item. It hasn't been charged yet to anything because we paid it out of the police line. I understand, and now, but I right. thought when Barbara said she said she thought it was over because of that, so I said I wanted no. to make sure that it wasn't charged that way. No. Okay. Well, there is that special duty line. Is that yes. the one? <coughs> so, okay. Yeah. As long as that that it wasn't taken out of the wrong line. No. That's more my question. I guess. Okay. No. But, but there was a question about the special duty. Maybe. Sure. <laughs> yeah, and I had written a note that I guess it has what to be yeah, responsible for the charges go on this line. <coughs> yeah. okay. 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 Anything that the state troopers, any overtime is charged on that line, the trooper overtime. Mm -hmm. But then we get reimbursed from the school if mm -hmm. they do work for the school. Yeah. We get reimbursed from them. Had a neck um, there. there. We get reimbursed. Uh, <coughs> and family. We get reimbursement. So basically, if they do any special duty for the agencies, I bill the agencies, okay. and then we get that money back. Gotcha. Yeah. The only um, thing that we absorb is if the town has something, something that's going on. And then there's nobody to reimburse the town. <laughs> okay, and the other one was the building department mileage. Um, well, I really don't know how to answer that one, to be honest with you, um, because he has been getting his $500 well, round, round about $500 a, uh, a month until we get a town vehicle. But we don't have a town vehicle yet. And so the 500 is a monthly fee? Well, it's a, it's, we are paying him weekly in, a, in the payroll. Okay. So he's not billing per mile? To the town. Not until, and Liz can comment on that. Um, he gets uh, $126.92 to a week okay. in the payroll, but things kind of changed, and uh, Liz can comment on, on that, how she changed it. So he's been getting paid $126.92 a week because I guess he has had this agreement and he had refused to keep track of his mileage. So for November, he was paid for two weeks, one twenty-six ninety-two, and I, from what I understand, two hundred fifty dollars a month was allocated towards the mileage. So that kept the mileage in place. He was not paid any further dollars in November, and for December, he is keeping track of his mileage. Thank you. So I'm not sure what we're going to do for January. He is retiring but I put a stop to the extra money going up. And the purchase of the vehicle is a, another option? Well, it is another option, yeah, because yeah. for what we were paying, we definitely could have afforded to do, to do something. So I'm looking at, I have a few options available, so I'm looking at that. So. 
the, the other thing that I wanted to mention to the board is, um, I, I know in the past, in, in the budget, we never <coughs> really put money into bank charges. However, the banks are coming down on us mm -hmm. that um, their expenses are greater than the service the services that they are providing the town, they are not billing us for all of those services, but um, their profit mar margin is getting lower and lower, and so they have to build towns now. And I guess uh, companies, I don't know how they work with other uh, customers, but um, we had a meeting with um, Citizens Bank, and we're going to have a meeting with um, Liberty Bank uh, tomorrow, actually. And we'll see what they can do for us. But I just want to let you know that uh, it's the bank charges are real, and they're going to be coming. So <clears throat> in this upcoming budget, we're going to have to put something in. Actually, the, they started as of December 1st, I think, mm -hmm. that, that they're going to charge for us. Citizens. 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 Yeah. They don't tie it to the amount of money in the account. The they fees. do, however, th what they are loaning out the money for and what they are paying in fees, it is just not making sense. I mean, they, they gave us a report, and the services that they are giving us amounts to, I think it's over, but almost eleven hundred dollars a month. Wow, substantial. Yes. And uh, they are willing to cut it in half because they want to. Uh, money. They want to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they but don't even tie at half is it's five hundred dollars. They don't tie the fee to the balance that you maintain. I guess is what I'm saying. Yes. It has nothing well, to do with the, the truth is that uh, uh, we are not maintaining okay. in the in right. the in the checking account. We are not maintaining right. the balance. Um, we had it all in the investment account. Mm -hmm. But um, that's not helping them. It has to be in the checking account. So I don't know. We are working that out between Robin and Barbara and myself. We're going to see what we can do to um, avoid uh, charges, but we're not going to avoid them totally. Because I'm guessing anything that we're rolling at the end of the night to the investors, we're not making substantial <laughs> amount of money on no. to make a difference. Mm -hmm. No, because we're keeping it all you know, oh, yeah. invested separately. Yep. Um, so the total interest rates go up, then mm -hmm. we have a better shot. But they mm -hmm. the pay us interest, they still have net enough, so yeah, they want free money to invest yeah. to cover the services. So. Mm -hmm. Back to the issue of mileage. Mm -hmm. Before you investigate town vehicles too much, I'm looking around that room, and I think Mars and Harlan and I have been here long enough to see. No vehicles, one town vehicle, two town vehicles, what it took to get rid of the whole debacle, whatever the mileage is costing us, I think it's well worth not owning the town vehicles. Mm -hmm. We probably need to add a little more to a couple of the lines, but it was it was a debacle to get rid of the last time. And buying a town vehicle doesn't just simply offset the, the amount. We bought used town vehicles for mm -hmm. repairs and tires mm -hmm. and gas. And, mm -hmm. And it was just a never ending. Yeah. I had Georgia go back and try to estimate, like, between Liz giving me an idea of how many times, um, you know, visits were made and on average, and it definitely was worth the mileage area. Why that wasn't followed from the beginning, I absolutely have no idea. But it wasn't. So, I agree with you. And she's looking, I mean, I think she has 12, maybe not quite, she has quite a few applicants. Oh. For the billing inspector. Okay. So we'll look at that. But Is that the only position that didn't report its mileage? Yes. 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 I don't get it. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's easily. I mean, I've, yeah, you have the IRS code. It's been, been, it's been going on for yeah. a long time. Yeah. I have the IRS code to follow. Well, that might have been. And I just drew the a specific thing to that yeah. particular. Yeah, I drew a line in the sand and I said, this is the rule and this is what we do. So, so going forward, it will change, presumably. Correct. It has changed even, yes. And it's also fearful that we're almost out of the money and we're only at December. So there's only 500 in 588 that we have left in one line item. 
The yeah, other the eight other eight account, eight when you still have to smile, it still has a fair bit though. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, what other account? The land use office mine. mine oh, yes. 91% of the land right. is still there. Right. So they, they've they been religiously mm -hmm. following the, the yeah. rules, the regulations. It was yeah. the only one that, yeah. 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 So. And when Corn's reflective, his retirement is when? The January 1st or December. Mm -hmm. Two weeks? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the, yeah. the other thing that happened, because I guess he's retiring, um, you know, he's been taking his vacation and everything. So the, if you notice, the um, contractual line is getting low. So um, page 10, that's in the red already. Is there anything that needs to be paid out of at the end of, like, I don't know what their union agreement is. Like, he's he not in the union. Oh, he's not in the union. No. Okay. Is there anything in his own policies for any sick time? Or that he gets well, sick time, if you don't, if you don't use, use it, you lose it. it. Okay. Just the vacation. So the vacation and, right just, okay. and I don't know what he has left as far as vacation goes. If you had asked me that question, I would have been yeah, answered by you tonight, but... I, I didn't look to see what, how many days he has. No, that's fine. Yes. Yeah. But in two more weeks in the interim, I mean, they, once we get two weeks up, the building official salary line will stay where it is for a while until somebody tires. So. Right. We do have an interim. Right. Yeah. yeah, building official uh, yeah. Yeah. coming in. Paid out of that mm -hmm. month. Mm -hmm. Which the rate is less. Yeah, I, I don't, you know, I don't have any information on the interim. Any other questions, comments on the financials? Just a couple of things. Um, just a couple of things I want to make you aware of. So we received a grant, which should be in next week, um, to take care of the upgrade uh, for the nutmeg for the internet. And the grant was thirty-nine thousand six hundred dollars. I got a construction estimate in, and it's about fourteen hundred dollars more than the grant. Um, I am going to go back to him. Actually. Planning to call him tomorrow to see if I can get him to meet the price. Otherwise, I'm going to need some assistance as to where to get the differential off that, because I'd like to get that implemented. Um, so that's that. And then we have a town meeting um, that's going to be next week. I think it's going to be Wednesday, but I'm not 100% sure. I think Wednesday. Um, <coughs> Wednesday, yeah. Um, I'll know tomorrow. And I'd like to just try to get it done by the end of the year since the weather's cooperating. Um, on Park Road, th this is not costing anything, just so the Board of Finance is aware. Um, there is 0 0.06 acres of property that is being donated by Mark and Ray Brooks to the town um, for a turnaround for the trucks for road improvement. And then there's also another 0 .31, this is a separate item, acres of property located on the north side of Gunger Hill that's being conveyed from Rogers Realty for the purpose of the town having a right away in case of an emergency. So those are two things that are going to be for the town meeting. There's no money being transferred, so just so that you're aware. And then the last thing is... Um, So there have been some issues, um, and I know this has been a controversial topic forever, um, with Chatham Health. 
So we went to a district to save money so that the town didn't have to pay um, for a sanitarian and take that expense. Um, we have not been getting the level of service that we need to from Chatham Health. There's some issues going on. Um, East Hampton had been helping to fund them to pay expenses and um, East Hampton decided they don't want to be the bank anymore. So East Hampton took $138,000 back last Thursday, which only left the district $10,000 to make payroll. So each of the towns that are part of the district got asked if they could pay ahead or put in their portion of the funds. I'm concerned as to the long-term plan. There is a board meeting tomorrow um, of what's going to develop. I think the biggest thing is that if we are to request to be released from the Chatham Health District, I have to have a town meeting, which I'm already having for these other two property issues, and if I decide to put that on the calendar, um, we have to give them notice by December 31st if we are going to leave the district, and we would stay with them and do our own thing come July 1st. So I am sensitive that we're spending a little shy of $79,000. It's like 78 something right, Georgia? I have to <coughs> Yeah. Um, I'm in the ballpark. Um, I'm not looking to bring additional expenses to the town. I have reached out to a few other towns, and there is some interest in sharing, which would solve the issue for us. Um, but part of the problem is, is that we're not getting the level of service we need. Um, there's establishments that need to have um, inspection work done. It's not being done. Um, I'm not really sure what the long-term plan is, and I'm not looking to make a rash decision or ju jump into anything, but we have until the statute is very clear. I've already had legal counsel look at it, and I talked to DPH today. Um, we have until December 31st if we decide to leave. If I don't act on it, and we don't do anything, we're there another 18 months. So the contracts are always 18 months, not well, it's a school year? It, it has to, notice has to be by December 31st. Okay. So if I don't give notice, so then, then we have to stay until the end of June. We're, so we have to have another year contract. Another yeah, year, If you yeah. gave so, notice now, we're, we're in until the end of June. Right. So, so, so it's a one-year deal, but six months prior notice. First of all, lots of questions. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, why is East Hampton funding? Um, <laughs> I'm sure that this is a bigger question, and I don't even know that. East we Hampton have does their accounting. Okay. East Hampton, I do a lot of East Hampton, so I understand from that how it works. Okay. So. East Hampton cuts their checks and, 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 and Chatham reimburses. So what East Hampton did is they reimbursed everything they were owed. So East Hampton is putting the money up front? Well, um, well I'm okay. confused because so there's a per capita grant. There's, there's two, but those funds are being held up by DPH right now. We're not able reason, to. I can't tell you right now. So we are, the state of Connecticut is not releasing funds. Correct. The town of East Hampton has yeah, they, been. They process their checks, that's all. So they, they process. How checks. are they processing checks without any funds? Well, they, they all are funds. Uh, they and use they use everything okay. they were owed. So the town of East Hampton is offering the district a service? Service. Yes. Yeah. Not a They're not. They're financially separate, legally yeah. separate. Right. So all they did is they took, because they're running out of money, they settled off what they were owed. Okay. And then the state is really the one causing the cash flow problem because of the pool. Okay. Mm -hmm. the and money. so the district is now asking <coughs> each of the towns to come up with additional funds. Not any more than we're already contracted for. So, for example, we've paid for six months so far. Okay. So, for example, the next quarterly payment, they're asking for it earlier than later. I haven't approved anything to go. We, we have a board meeting tomorrow, so I'll know a little bit more. Um, and But I can tell you that half of the funds will probably be released by the end of the year, but it will be a while before the other portion is released. 
from what I know right now. So I. So we're getting. I, I, we're getting mediocre at best service. Mediocre at now. best. Mm -hmm. And if they, if the towns don't cooperate and fund them ahead of time, mm -hmm. sounds to me like they're going to be in serious financial trouble come January or February. Mm -hmm. So we can sort of figure where the mediocre at best is going to go to lousy. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, deep and then what's their, what, what's, do we expect them to survive into the next year that we're supposed to make a commitment to or not within the next two weeks? I, I am very concerned that we're, there appears that maybe there are questions not answered or maybe they are answered but we don't know them yet to make a rash decision to December, mm -hmm. basically the end of this month. Mm -hmm. So my thought process was, there. is if I could get a commitment from Killingworth or another town, but I have spoken to Kathy, you know, to share that service with them, that it would be less than what we're spending now and that we would be able to provide the services, better services. That requires you to hire somebody? We would share them. Yeah, we would oh, they share. Already have yes, somebody they have somebody part-time. Oh. We would share part-time. <clears throat> and that would solve the issue. There is no alternative agency that does what they do in the So we could create our own district and DPH would help us with that. We would be allowed to get per capita funds if we aligned ourselves with other towns where we would come over the 50,000 population threshold. Um, there's no funds available if you are part-time, and there are no funds available if you are full-time with less than 50,000 residents. So I'm just concerned. But the, the real function that they serve that we need to replace if you were to get rid of them is the sanitarian, sanitarian and food inspections. Correct. And a now, director of health. What? And a director of health. Director of health. And it can no longer be a doctor. So you need somebody with a master's, um, you know, in public health. And um, a piece I was going to that just forgot. Sorry. Meaning that you'd have three people? No, lots of times, so for example, in Killingworth, their sanitarian has this master's in public health, so they're using the same individual. Okay. And um, about food inspection, that's the same? They're doing it, they're, uh, I believe, and again, this has all been the past since Thursday, mm -hmm. um, that they're paying someone on a per Most inspection of the basis. Most towns will pay yeah. per inspection. Which usually runs between five and $6,000. Just more cost. I mean, a, a freelance person? No, in? there's somebody who's food certified, but you'll find that most of the smaller towns, will, because you're only doing your class ones and twos, are only which are you know your gas stations. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. are only getting inspected twice a year. Something like the class three or class four are getting inspected quarterly. So normally you will just bring in somebody just to do. You know, they'll come in for like three days straight and just inspect all the facilities in town. Now, and or come in on a complaint basis. I've heard so many complaints from Chad. I know. It seems like a no brain. It seems like this is not a big decision that we need to put it on the agenda. And if, if there's a deadline December 31st, I think we need to meet it and then figure out what we'll do. I mean, in speaking to DPH, I can give notice, we can have a public meeting, and we can decide to look. I mean, I. I've done as much research as I can. So is the, the deadline just an intent to say we Yes. Okay, so it's not a commitment that we're leaving the district. It's we a, need to give notice that we're leaving, but according to the conversation I had with DPH today, which was a director yeah. who's in charge of that specific area, she said that doesn't mean I can't stay. decide to stay. Sure. I have to go back to another town meeting. I mean, we look a little yes. silly, but it is what it is. Well, it just is very it short. It, very short I'm, really I'm nervous about the potential of staying and what can happen. I mean, 
firm hand now, or ideally a building inspector now, can provide that sanitation piece. He just doesn't have the master's degree to do that. So, you know, one of the conversations has been with Ms. Glidden is that since we are looking for a building official, maybe we can find somebody who has everything in, but that's a maybe. I, I, you know, I don't know. But I think you need to be aware that, you know, there's issues going on and it's public, of this piece at least, and... But is this thing disintegrating? I mean, are towns going to start... I don't, out? I don't know, but... How many towns total? Nine? Mm -hmm. I think so. So there's... Eight. 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 We shared services also from Littlefield, mm -hmm. and I think that person has the, the master's who was serving yeah, as I the mean, director. DPH said to me today, Durham has a part-time person, Middlefield has a part-time person, Killingworth has a part-time person, I don't know what Chester's doing. And Chester has part-time. Part-time, okay. So, you know, her comment, and I said to her, I said, I don't know if we're getting the short end of the stick because we're on this side of the river or what's going on. But it might make more sense to align with towns that we're closer to. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, I did look to go to, there's another district in Old Saybrook. Um, I don't think it would be convenient because you need to actually go there to get the permit and the paperwork and everything. It just seems like it would be another step. So, but we can, you Could know. Could we admit, I mean, obviously we need to provide services to the town's mm -hmm. people. Um, uh, and I've had a conversation too with Mark Walter. I mean, I, I well mean, I, could instead of trying to make a rash decision and deciding to, you know, join up with, could you maybe ask the Connecticut River Area Health District to allow a three or six month contract with them? And I know DPH would probably have to approve something like that, just so that we're not jumping into something. But does it, it's not clear. So I mean, we we can still go back and. April and say we're staying with you. I this is just to give an intent. I know that, but, a rash decision. but we need to provide services to the towns. Well, we should we still, still are. Still so we so it still would be through June. I mean, it's bad now. I can't. I mean, I, I know it's going to get worse before it gets better. I mean, I only but if houses. there's no funds, the sanitarium, if they're not going to get a paycheck, I guarantee you they may not exist until July 1st. So, yeah, but that's not, I mean, we can't I mean, go off of it if they close. You're saying there's a Then we have to jump through this. The email that I received said that there was $10,000 to make payroll, and that was not enough. And that East Hampton unexpectedly paid themselves back $138,000. So I sent an email out, and I asked for more detail and to please explain. Who and I have not. No one knows. On the board of no one knows. It was not discussed at a board of directors meeting. Again, uh, more information tomorrow, but we're having this meeting now. And I need to find that out tomorrow. I'm, sorry, I'm probably asking a lot of questions. No, sure, you don't have fine. I, and I'm new to this. I mean, I'm new to this commission. I haven't been on it, yeah. so I don't. I don't know what. I tell them we plan to get out, have the meeting, and then we'll sort it out in this next couple of six yeah, months. Yeah, telling them we're planning to get out keeps our options open. If we don't right. tell them that, then we're locked in. That's exactly right. my concern. The next four years, we <coughs> six months to figure out. Yeah. You need this board to yeah, do that. No, fold, I just want you to be aware of it. If they fold, there's people with credentials looking for work. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, if they fold, then the sanitarians that came from those towns go back to those towns. But we don't have a sanitarian. We didn't have one at the time we went into the contract. Mm -hmm. Do these guys have any hope of being better at what they do? I mean, are they... Are they aware I think, that, I think that there's a long shot, I'll say that. There, there's an, I mean, I'll be honest, if I, I was hopeful that there might be a way to work it out, it might be a bumpy road for the next six to nine months, but I got concerned when I saw that that transfer took place. And for all I know, some towns could have just put the dollars in and it could be okay. But when you start moving money around without people knowing or bringing it to a board, 
you know, and being secretive about it, I, I just it made me nervous. Well, and there's that, but I just mean their level of service doesn't seem to be. No, it's good. not. And it's I don't terrible. Know what they're going to do about that? It's really bad. <clears throat> Maybe they can't even solve that problem. Yeah, I mean the sanitarians that are there know. <laughs> okay. huh? It's not secretive. That board has a responsibility to look at the stuff that so we do. Right. That whole board is responsible. Not the I know. Time stamp that. I know. Those no. are the people that are ignoring. They have no money. I know, Joe, but I just went on. I had one meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying. I'm, all I'm saying is nothing was done in secret. This, this has been an issue oh, for I didn't three mean, years. Yeah, but I didn't know. All right. So I guess the way the email read, so to his point, because I don't want to throw I'm not throwing credit anybody under the bus. You are correct. I stand corrected that I didn't understand where that money was coming from and they were loaning it. And, and I understand they're protecting themselves. If it was the town of Haddam, I'd want to protect us. So, and that's what I'm trying to do is protect us. And the state is not going to release any of the per capita grant until when or based on some, I mean. Um, possibly this week, possibly half of it. Okay. So have they released any no. of the program? No. Okay. So the only thing that the district has been funded by at this point is any monies received from the town. Yes, that's my understanding. And fees. And fees. What is the, do we know the total dollar amount that the per capita was? I don't have that with okay. me, sure. I'll but I'd be happy to get that. So I'm just, because it's, I'm not looking to increase the budget for the town, I'm just being sensitive to the dollars, I just want the board of finance, I'm not, you know, we're going to, I'm actually having a meeting, a special meeting tomorrow with the other selectmen to discuss it, and by then I'll have come from the meeting and maybe I'll have more information, but. We can um, probably get better services for less than $78,000. Uh, yeah, I mean, this doesn't sound like, <clears throat> even based on worst case, this isn't going to be a big added to the budget. I mean, we're already spending a lot of money. And so we got money in the budget to spend on this service. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not like we're getting something for free and all of a sudden got to come up with $80,000 mm -hmm. to do it. We're yeah. spending 78000 I understand yeah. that. Yeah. It's a matter of finding a provider. Right, and I felt like I got a jump start on it before, you know, I can... I've already put some feelers out, so hoping that I can get it resolved before it becomes a big issue. But I will say this, and I was a big supporter of when the district was formed. I think there are a lot of health services, now whether or not they are provided or were provided correctly, however you want to look at it through chat and health. I think it's very important that we as the public generally only see that portion of what a health department should be providing. Okay, I think we're very quick to say yes, we see the restaurant portion of it, and we see the environmental side of it, which is you know your septic systems and you know, sewage failures or whatever. Um, the other big part of that, you know, is the emergency planning. We're responsible for that. <clears throat> when you put that into the hands of a local health department, it doesn't happen. That's simply just what it just doesn't happen. Um, so, you know, there are a lot of that requirement that came, <clears throat> you know, with fire terror terrorism and smallpox and all those threats and you know, making sure that the town of Haddam is in the correct regions and in the correct districts and that, you know, that we're in Fort too. And when you take that portion of it away, which is what the average person doesn't know that the health department is also responsible for. So I think it's very important that we make sure that we look at all those key functions that we're supposed to be providing mm -hmm. and make sure that we're doing them, doing mm -hmm. them cost effectively. Mm -hmm. But then and those are services that can be contracted out. So I'm not saying, I'm just saying it's easy for us to sit here in the public just to see what they think a health department does. And they don't necessarily think maybe that those other things are necessities maybe, but they are. So 
Yeah, that was what I was asking you, if it was going to take the hiring of four new people to mm -hmm. replace the services. Not necessarily, that okay. but I just want, I want to make sure that we don't, I was, when the district formed, I think we were very, the town was very lacking in that, and, this, the, and the state regulations mm -hmm. themselves have changed in order to tighten up mm -hmm. on what the small town mm -hmm. used to do. Yeah, that's true. And very small towns, what they used to do was, they used to have somebody who was an RS, which is your registered sanitarian, and then they would hire a local physician who was your DOH. And he would basically get a $5,000 stipend a year. He would sign your you know, public health orders. The law has not changed with that. So any towns moving forward, when they hire their DOH, and that goes to you know, the public health department, who ultimately approves whomever the town hires, mm -hmm. um, that person now has to have a master's in public health. But also has to have the time to do the job. If well, because they were finding that a lot of physicians, they didn't know how to do emergency planning. Oh, well, now all of a sudden they're that. sitting, they've got to run a clinic with you know, 150,000 people in it, and they don't mm -hmm. have a clue how to do that. I mean, I, again, so, I think at the time it made a lot of sense for us to do this. I'm not saying there aren't other feasible ways. I just want to make sure that we look at the whole picture for what should be provided to the citizens. So, that's my piece. Coming from public health. <laughs> Good luck with that. Hey. <laughs> 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 so of course. Comments about that? <clears throat> Full business? No. New business? I guess I just put on there if there's anything from a... You know, talk about the next upcoming budget, budget season, if there was anything we wanted to talk about before the budgets come together kind of ahead of time, if there was some strategy, this was something like this, if it's going to be different, but I was able to, to know that, that you have to think about some other things. So I don't know if there was anything else that I want to discuss ahead of that. Well, Liz is first time through it from her position. <clears throat> And uh, Barbara, the other Barbara, first time, but you know from when you were on the board, we're always looking for backup. Mm -hmm. There's always a question, backup, mm -hmm. backup, backup. Mm -hmm. So if you can get that out mm -hmm. of the departments when they're submitting to you, mm -hmm. just anticipating you know, the questions they'll have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I got actually a budget today and I went back and asked for backup. So, message received. I mean, it, it just makes life easier, even when you're discussing it. You know what they're asking for and what the detail is. It makes life a lot easier. With your board and the board. Mm-hmm. And the board of ed, just to talk to them. Mm -hmm. well, we had, a, or will, I think, have a conversation at the board of ed about just approaches, agendas, philosophies, whatever people are bringing to the table, because obviously there are new members. and How many new members? Four. Four and me. I don't know what I am, but <laughs> I'm a, half a member. Um, but just to have that conversation, and I think tomorrow night at the meeting, Howard will talk about approaches, like what, how he goes about this and, and what he looks at. You know, there are people, I think, who have a vague understanding of the process, but not are completely clear on what the administrators contribute, what they tell him. You know, in a way, I suppose it could be a wish list to Santa Claus, in a way, and he's Santa Claus who has to say yes or no. And so we need to understand that, I think, as a board, and that will help this board probably understand more clearly what that board wants. And, and then we've got the referendum. I was going to say, and, and as, I mean, that clearly relates to the overall situation in town. Definitely. What, have, have they had any <coughs> since that? No. Okay. So tomorrow. 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 It's not on the agenda tomorrow specifically. Mm -hmm. I think they want to <coughs> have a cooling off period of some kind <coughs> and let people mm -hmm. think about what they want to do next. And as I was saying to Ed before the meeting started, they and, and you've all said this before, I think, these referendums don't tell you anything about why people voted the way they did. So you have no and you have yes, but you don't know why. So we could surmise 
I suppose, why people voted the way they did. Maybe they didn't want all 13 items in one lump. Maybe they are against like artificial California. turf. Yeah. Thousands of questions well, about. You, I mean, I, it'll be interesting to see what people think about that option, and then you can pick off the menu, and whatever menu you end up with, that's the meal. But, you know, I think they felt that these were all items that they wanted or thought they needed. I mean, the roof on a 40 year old building <laughs> seems like a no brainer, but maybe it just got crowded out by other stuff that people felt they didn't want, or there is this artificial turf field controversy. I think mm -hmm. people don't know how to feel about the science of it. Do they have any? Well, they haven't decided on the product. Well, that's no, the that's true. Part. It was just really the it, 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 it escalates. It escalates. It and, it and there's uncertainty. Yeah. And so that creates. Well, the, so. I think the other thing is they need to, the, the roof was no surprise. Right. Have they been And, and, and yet I think one? packaging up the referendum was kind of a surprise. Yeah. And so for the last three or four years, they should have been saying that in three or four years, we've, decide, you know, we've, we've decided rather than set aside capital money, and they can do that. I know I hear, we hear the 1%, the 1% is still a big chunk of $40 million. And, and, and you know, so we've decided instead of doing that, you can all anticipate that we're going to have a, a, a bonding issue five years out. Mm -hmm. And then, then it's no surprise. There was probably talk, but I don't think if you're if you're not there, you don't hear these things. I mean, I think they have the expectation sometimes that people are really clued in to what's going on there. And I don't think until a mailing arrives in your mailbox, you're not really yeah. aware. Then you are. So yeah, I think we've got some work to do, basically. And they could go to their capital. Uh, fund, but it's not that large, I don't think. You might get a couple of items paid for, but yeah. not the whole 12 million. I don't think there's a lot of resistance to the, uh, the boilers or the yes, people I, understand I, the boilers. I think you're right. The, the roof. You know, then you start with the solar and the new entrance and the field and the press box and all of that. And, <coughs> and, and seats in the auditorium, which again, it's a 40-year-old auditorium, and it's a little beat up, and it probably needs some things, but maybe people were just put off by the size of it and the number of items. So I don't know where we're going to end up, but just generally speaking, not in a meeting like this, but if anybody has any suggestions that I can take to the board, just shoot me an email. I think the conversation's starting again. Oh, I, maybe from scratch. I don't know. So you have a meeting tomorrow? Tomorrow, but it's not on the agenda. No. <coughs> this budget philosophical who's, thing. Who's the county board chair this year? Did they switch every year? Yes, Joel D'Angelo. Uh -huh. uh, they switch it back again. Yeah. And the vice chair? Well, I guess it must be hard to get good help because that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, Congratulations. <laughs> The track. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm, I'm going to be dog catcher soon. <laughs> Fire chief. <laughs> uh, and then treasurer Suzanne Sack, who is a new Killingworth member, so swing right into action. And she's also chair of the finance committee. And the secretary, I forget, I think it's Kathy Brown. But yeah, there's some work to do. Well, not that it ever. I know. Okay. So, all right. All right. Anything else on our new business? May I inquire about? I understand there may be a resignation. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is there any news about that that we should know about? Um. Yeah. I guess there is a the resignation has been filed. But how far? I don't know what the process is. But. Yeah, I guess I'm not sure what the process is either. I think we need to look into that or we looked into. Mm -hmm. He's a regular member, right? Mm -hmm. Talking about John? Yeah. Yeah. Well, John resigned. He's a regular member. Normally, it would be an alternate of the, the same, same party, of the same party but, but we, we don't, don't have, have that. So I think that's where it's yeah. 
and a, that's just sort of at a question mark. Because you're on affiliate, right? Yeah. Can't you pick a team? <laughs> <laughs> it made it a lot easier. Yeah, you Yankees, Red Sox, you know. I'm on both teams. We're all, we're all, we're all, we're all, we're all a team called the We town. all say yes. that. Right. One team, the town. Right. So you're looking go. into that? Well, we or have we got the resignation, so we haven't even, I mean, I'm going to bring it to the Board of Selectmen to accept it on so Wednesday. If we fill the seat on an alternate, just then there would have to be a new alternate. Well, that's the normal thing. thing. Right. Yeah. yeah, but would you fill that? With, let's say if it's, I'm just for example, if it's an R that fills that seat from the alternate, then do the R's fill again? Because then don't we become, it, what do we have to have our. Questions. Yeah. Because then, then we don't have a charter. Yeah. A charter or whatever. Yeah. Right. So I think that's what needs to be okay. decided. Figured out how how to proceed. Okay. All right. <coughs> Public comment. Um, I'd like to echo <coughs> Cheryl's sentiments on the Chatham Health District. I do um, know that they do a lot more than the septic and the food. There's a lot more that encompasses health uh, for our town. And <clears throat> I think there is a glimmer of hope on the horizon. They are going through some personnel issues. Um, and that will all be rectified in the next few months. Uh, the per capita grant is about $130,000. Um, it's not a huge chunk of their budget, but it's a significant amount. Also, as to the mileage for the building official, the plan was to take one of the three trucks from the fire department, pickup trucks. They have had money in the capital plan to replace three pickup trucks, and I've talked to Phil quite a few months ago about what he thought of the, the shape of those trucks, and he thought it would be excellent to take one of those for him for plowing and then also one for the building inspector. Um, the fire department haven't ordered their new trucks yet, and I did mention that to Liz when we did our transition meeting to maybe kind of gently prod them to order those three new trucks before the uh, beginning of the year. So that was uh, just another little piece of info. Thanks, guys. Well, oh. I know, I was just going just to comment on uh, the Board of Education situation and say that, you know, for, for what it's worth, my view was that it was the bundling of all of the items that caused that budget, that, that referendum to go down. I think if, in fact, that thing had been separated, a number of the items, including uh, the roof and the uh, and the heating system, uh, would surely have passed. But I think people were felt that that was, uh, it was inappropriate uh, to bundle them with. They did. I mean, legally it's fine. It's it's legally acceptable. I don't think to the public, after the budgets that have been passed year after year which people have thought had been high, especially in this town, uh, that was the view. Uh, this thing was, the bundling was uh, a bad move. Okay. So as far as the trucks go with the fire department and talking to Phil and the firemen, there's really only one truck that would be viable for us to use. I think it would be something that would be a short-term fix. Um, it needs major... Uh, work done to it. It's not that it's not safe to drive, but it's going to need some money dumped into it. So depending upon what might be given on a trade-in or what the value of it is or not, I just thought that it, if we were able to get a truck from them or a car to use, it was going to be a short-term fix. Um, the concerns did come up about, I mean, we can use the town garage to fill the gas tank but if that truck breaks down, what are we going to use? We don't have a backup truck to use. So there are a lot of other questions that need to be looked at on that. So I'm just looking at everything and looking at all the options. All right. What else? Motion to adjourn. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs>